Good morning. My name is Nicholas Perrin, the founder of Authentic Freedom Now. And this week's topic is around the awakening process and the significance of 2012 and beyond. For the last 26,000 years, humanity has been caught up in an old paradigm of being, a paradigm that has been focused around separation, competition, and isolation. And if anyone has any doubts on this, it's very easy just to look back in history and to notice and become aware of all the wars and all the interconflicts that humanity has experienced within itself. The good news is, is that the minds have predicted and have stated that in 2012 and beyond, that humanity will have an opportunity to transcend its consciousness into a new way of being. So what is this shift in consciousness and what is this awakening process? So first of all, most people are living in what I call an unconscious state. The thoughts that they are experiencing on a daily basis are pretty much the same thoughts that they were experiencing the day before. And for most people, their focus is on what's wrong with the world, what's wrong with me, I don't like that, I don't like this. And they're caught up in automatic programs that are just running them. They have no real choice in how they're living their life, and their life from day to day is just pretty much the same. Now the awakening process is when you're able to declutch yourself from the mind and the mind is no longer in control of who you are. When this occurs, you now have conscious choice with how you live your life. A very good indicator to, ha- to see how you're going is what are the emotions that you're experiencing in your body? Because the, the emotions that we experience are the markers of the thoughts that we engage with in our mind. So when we've, de- when we've declutched on the mind, we are in conscious awareness and we are choosing those thoughts and therefore a person or a being that is declutched on their mind, generally speaking, experiences joy, bliss and happiness and sees just the pure perfection in every moment. So how can you actually move into a state of awakening? There is an infinite number of ways to do this. And the truth is that every single individual's process and path is unique. And that there's a a collection and a host of, of things out there that you can use. But no single person's way of doing it will be the same way. And I would highly recommend that you find and connect to your own inner truth and become your own inner master. Obviously, using other people's experiences and using the opportunities and processes out there to support you, but not giving your power away. So here are some of the things that I did that I feel to share with you. So meditation is a very powerful way to quieten the mind. And again, there's an infinite number of different meditations out there. So you can go on the internet and and find a suitable type of meditation that works for you. But meditation is a great way to move yourself from a high beta state into a theta state and to move from being stuck in your head to dropping into the heart space and moving into a feeling space, which is when you have access to the infinite number of possibilities that exist in every moment. The next thing that I love to do is journaling. And being able to express myself onto, onto a piece of paper is very empowering. Just to write out, what, how am I feeling? What's going on in my life right now? What are my aspirations and inspirations? What are the things that are holding me back? So journaling is a very healing process and it's really supported me uh, throughout my journey over the last six years. Another thing that's really important is the environment. So who are you choosing to spend your time with and where are you spending your time? So the good news is is that the internet now offers an instant platform for you to really access groups of people all around the world. And Meetup has been, an, uh, has been a, a platform that I've used quite, quite a lot and has enabled me to really spend my time with specific groups of people within spirituality or consciousness and awareness. So I highly recommend that you jump onto Meetup and you can actually then meet people face to face and share where you're at. And also people will understand what you're going through and will have stories and have supportive materials as well to take you to that next step in your journey. The final thing that I feel to share with you is it's really important to know from uh, from a deep space within you the the power of self-acceptance and healing and how to move through resistance. 
Now, I've already dealt and created a, a vlog already on how to move through resistance and the art of self-acceptance. So I encourage you to review that if you've already checked it. And if you're new to this, and this is the first interaction that you've had with me, then go into the archive sections under, under blogs and find the one which states um, how to move through resistance. It's an incredibly powerful process and vlog, and it's a necessary part of the healing process to declutch from the mind and to really become in alignment with your true self. So live your love, be your best friend, come from a space of inform from come from a space of inspiration and until next time I look forward to connecting with you. Keep living your dreams. Thank you.